Hello, I'm Raj Mago from Simple and Practical Medical Education and I'm going to do a quick tutorial about online.epocrates.com. As you can see here, I'm at the website online.epocrates.com and that I created a free account. You don't have to pay for this, it's a, but you have to register, created a free account and I'm already logged in. So the first thing I would do is I would click on interaction check because I'm going to demonstrate the drug interaction search tool. So I click on interaction check and here I supposing the first thing is fluoxetine. So as I start to type it, you can see that the choices appear like the generic and the brand names and here's a combination. Typically what I do is I choose the generic. Now what you notice is that as I chose I clicked on fluoxetine, it already appeared in the selected drugs. There was no separate process for me to uh, do that. So let's do the let's do a next one. Maybe the patient is on buspirone. As I start to type, it appears here again. I If I click on the generic, I click, it automatically appears here. Now here's another beautiful thing about this is that as I'm adding the medications on the left side, the interactions are appearing on the right side. And, you know, in some softwares, you have to enter all the medicines and then you say, uh, uh, do, you know, do interaction search or search for interactions or something. Here it's appearing on the right side automatically. You know, it's very, very fast. Uh, let's say the patient is, is also taking something for blood pressure, uh, hydrochlorothiazide. Okay. Uh, let's say a patient is taking something for diabetes, metformin. Okay. Met, metformin. What else? Let's say the patient is taking uh, for um, for high cholesterol, atorvastatin. So you see all of these are appear, appear here. If I just click on the minus, I can see we found some interactions. Now, another good thing about this online.epocrates.com is that it ranks the interactions according to importance automatically. The most important ones are at the top and then the less important like if here somewhere where they say you might try might want to try to avoid this and he, and the next ones are moni monitor or modify treatment meaning either some change in the treatment is recommended or some additional monitoring is recommended but supposing uh, we, we would never do this but supposing we foolishly try to enter uh, an mao inhibitor along with fluoxetine we know that's contraindicated but just to demonstrate uh, anything that's contraindicated, so so that's even higher level than avoid or use alternative, right? So, so that so these are there are several examples, um, and then the lowest level will be where they'll just say caution, meaning you don't really have to do anything, but you need to be cautious. Now, as I as I delete phenylzine here, the interactions change. It's very it's it's excellent in terms of how quick it is. Now, notice another thing: as I click on any of the interactions just a little bit of information is given. It's not like you have to read three paragraphs now and four references or something. It's very brief. It just says either you use an alternative or you monitor for serotonin syndrome symptoms, right? Especially when you start it or titrate it. There you go. That's all you need to know. I mean, it's simple. Or if you look at fluoxetine and hydrochlorothiazide, it just says monitor sodium because the combination may increase the risk of the syndrome of inappropriate ADH, ADH secretion or of hyponatremia and so on, right? So that's an example of where they're recommending some monitoring and, and similarly. So you get the idea that it's very simple. It's very brief, like very little bit, only just a little bit. If I click plus, I can open up all of them and just see them. It only takes like a minute at the most. And lastly, when I'm done with this, I checked everything and I can, you know, add more med or more medicines on this side or, or reduce them, etc. to see, uh, you know, supposing I say, you know what, what about if I give this patient bupropion, let me, let me add bupropion and see what, what, how it might change the situation. Um, so again, like it, it, um, simply updates the interactions. Now, when everything is done, you do have the option of printing. So this is printer friendly. So in the old days, I used to print it out and give one copy to the patient 
in one copy uh, uh, to the primary care doctor and so on, or you can save it as a PDF. Now, all of this, what you have done on Epocrates in online, you can also do uh, using their free app but since I use my computer to write my notes and do my electronic medical record and everything, I just have the habit of using the website and doing this. I hope you saw how incredibly simple it is to enter the medications. And they, you know, if there's even, even like eight or nine medications, they can be entered very quickly within seconds. And there's instantaneous search. And you can look at the ones that are important. And if there's few more like just caution and so on, uh, usually those are not very important and you probably know them already. But you look at the top to see what's important. All right. I hope you found this video helpful.